character's still good. I'm, I'm glad to see that the character wasn't, like, completely garbage after the patch. Yeah. If you look at Diddy and Sheik, they've been patched a lot, and they're still, like, top five characters, arguably. I think this is one of the few games I where the I feel like Diddy's probably the best good. character in the game right now. Really? <laughs> I act Yeah, like, he's just too good. I agree. To an extent. Like, I'm still not sure who I put above him. And, like, what matchups does he actually lose? That girl's only now, apparently, but then there's, like, Sonoda the buzz. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, game one, starting on Final Destination. Rob versus Bayonetta, matchup I have not seen too often. That's the thing about these, like, pools, man. Like, it's like, who are you? What is this matchup? Like, yeah, we are seeing a lot more diversity than we're used to. Yeah, but this is, uh, this is pools, you know? Like, once we get to that top 32, we're going to see those nice, clean top tier characters, you know? Yeah, the top tiers playing their top players. The favorite. top players playing their top tiers, I should say. My favorite, yo. But not to cut these players out. And uh, it's weird. I don't really know how Bayonetta would, like, really approach this matchup. Probably a lot of... Okay, he's... I feel like he's just approaching with Nairs. Maybe it's... Ooh, wow. that witch time. That but he doesn't really get anything off of that. Oh. It's just like a quick fair. Okay. Nah, does not get the... The super witch twist, as I like to call it. Or other people like to call it something else, but... Wow, he's hitting points. the gyro actually got him out of that situation. Okay, it doesn't go for the up B. Kind of surprising. Ooh, Ooh, that was actually really good gyro dropping the up smash. Very nice item play indeed. Hopefully, uh, uh good Yeah, dangerous. that was dangerous. But now I think he's out of the down throw up air kill percentage. Okay. I see what, uh, I see what Jaws, Jams is trying to do there. He's trying to drop the gyro into a place where if Truth landed on it, he would be input into a perfect spot for an up smash. So now both these players just playing the waiting game, kind of saying, who's going to get the kill, man? Wow, right in his face, firing the barrage. That was nice. And now Truth is in the lead, but not by much. Good, uh, he just loses good it. gyro laser. Okay, oh. this might be something big. Yep, wow. that kills. Yeah, this character has, I think, really high gravity, but like, or, but she's lightweight. And maybe somewhat I, She's a fast faller. Fast faller? But uh, she's light, so she doesn't die off the top as easy. But she still does at the top. And wow, that was a crazy good fair. Nice. He caught the gyro with that, too. That was an excellent play by Truth. I'm really liking his Bayonetta. Yeah, his Bayonetta looks crispy today. And this is going to be a big punish, and it's going to be a big punish. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. He gets wow. to the up there anyways. That's, that's a lot 70, of percent. Yeah, 72%. Jams oh. right now, not looking happy. He doesn't have any oh. oh. Okay, barely makes it back. That's dangerous, you know? Like, going for those crazy combos off stage, that's like... Do I really want to do this, fam? Like... Okay, right now, Chu is probably just waiting out for his witch time to come back so he can I get the I think he's waiting kill. for the gyro as well. Wanted it to be out of play. Wow, did you see that? The gyro went through Bayonetta. He did not air dodge, it went through her legs. Because of the Z axis. Oh? Does yeah, not get the combo anymore. But, like, look how much damage he got. It's pretty crazy. And right now, witch time should be active. Back air is maybe going to kill near the ledge. It and it's an amazing is. tool. That's, it's that's super like strong. So it's safe. It's like weirdly like unpunishable. Okay, wow, he's really good for not air dodging there because if he did, that might have killed. That Rob was definitely waiting. Ah, uh, 57. He's very angry. Truth is waiting on an option. I feel like this is gonna end with Truth going for something risky with a witch time punish and getting punished for it. Oh, that was it. Well, I actually don't even know how laggy uh, Rob's up smash really is, so. Oh, okay, okay. forward air does not send him anywhere. Okay, he still has a jump, and that could have been a backer. I thought that was a backer for sure. And wow, oh, oh no, this is bad for truth. Wow. That jams. Could have been an field. <laughs> yeah, jams like crazy trickery is just is blowing my mind right now. Truth definitely too scared to commit. But he's like mindlessly going in right now. Truth needs to chill out. Yeah, truth really needs to like. One solid punish. Maybe camp a bit. You know, there's two minutes on the clock left, and it's a rob. With that being said, jams. It's also FD. It's really hard to camp on FD. Oh, grabs the gyro. If jams is a throw right now, I think it might be it. Oh, wow. Tries to wish on the gyro. The that was... That was, uh... It was cute. That it was, was a cute idea, but... Oh, my lord! Oh. He did it! Oh, my lord! That was crazy! That was... That was super cute. 
And he waited for the roll to end too. I'm I'm actually impressed. Because yeah, he that waited. Was, that was super smart. He got close enough and then down B. That was a... Uh, uh, now, I'm starting to like Bayonetta now. Not going to lie. Dude, Jams, uh, he's going to have to watch out for that because that's, that's, that's an option. The projectile game just got stand, a, lot, a lot scarier. He can't stand too uh, too close to the gyro. Yeah. Uh, if there's a truth on the field, you know. The projectile, you can wedge time someone's projectile only if they're close to it, right? Yeah. So, like... If he shot it from across the stage and he wedge timed it, it wouldn't do anything. And Truth going for Palutena. I wonder how he feels about this pick. Like I said, he's a lot more confident now. So maybe this Palutena could actually uh, put in work. Maybe it's this. I'm assuming this is probably a good Palo stage. If he gets stuck on the platforms, uh, Opera is very scary. Now I do know that Truth likes to go for those platform uh, warp cancels. You know we do have another uh, we do have another uh, Palutena player ourselves in the form of Ice Angel. I believe he is ranked seventh. Seventh, yeah, right under what, right under me. So and right above Kevin Wong. Okay, a lot of uh oh that and that down throw up here. I'm I'm really not liking this pick. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking very. Uh, well, right look, now it's looking rough. Pretty grim for uh, Truth right now, but it's looking very good for Jams. Yeah, maybe he's maybe it's a combination of Jams playing better. Uh, maybe he's more comfortable in this matchup as well. And he also it's his counter pick as well. Yeah. Uh, but right now Truth getting something started a bit. Oh, but that poor ledge cancel right there. They're getting punished. And that nair is just so good. Like it's weirdly unpunishable. It's weirdly. Uh, it's like it's like weirdly on it auto cancels and it does a lot of damage and you can't really trade with it either and that's it that you, up you air can is definitely trade with that's it. a strong up air these are the two strongest uppers in the game right here uh really yeah rob yep rob and palatin have the two strongest uppers at least that's what b115 told me i, I hope that's true maybe it, maybe it's rage dependent as well like palu with rage definitely one of the strongest up airs because it has a lot more base knockback uh than you think oh my that's, That's bad for Jam. That was a poor. Uh, Good air dodge, though. Miss input right there. The Robo Spinner. Is that what it's called? Uh, I have uh, no idea. What I that love these called. catches from Jams. You know, like it bounces off Palatina's flesh, and he just picks it up. <laughs> it's so funny looking. And this might be it. Yep. Yeah. Lightweight character. I mean, both his characters are pretty light, but for whatever reason, Rob? Bale was kind of just getting out of it. No. Uh, Bayonetta. Oh, okay. Bayonetta. And, yeah. So I feel like we're probably gonna get a switch back. Bayonetta on what stage? And does Jams have a counter pick? Have a it's, counter pick character? It's per, uh, counter pick. No. no, I'm saying counter pick character. Like, I if he goes to like battlefield, I don't think he does. I don't think he would need it to be honest at yeah. this rate. Even if he if he does, like his Rob's clearly putting in work. Yep, going back to Bayonetta. Okay. I like this pick. Can we? Okay, dance. Yeah, I I can see it. Get the up B combos onto the plots and then. Maybe finish with an air dodgery up smash. And this is Town of City, but you know, just because this is your counter pick doesn't mean that Rob can't benefit from it because this is a <laughs> this is a crazy uh, good yeah. down throw upper kind of stage for Rob. Yeah, low ceiling. Platforms I, are scary if you air dodge onto them. I've definitely seen some people get grabbed at 60 and die on the stage. I feel like while it's rising with rage, like that top middle platform with rage, that, like max rage probably kills at like 20 down throw up air. No, not maybe, maybe <laughs> from 30 the top or 40. platform. Yeah, when it's, at, when it's at its highest. That upper is nutty. I feel like Palutena would probably be able to do the same thing. Right now, Truth finding find his way in. Jams giving off a really good wall. Yeah, I'm. This defensive play is really working out. Good use of shield, not uh, not over committing. Okay, up B, forward B. He tries to go for the backer there. Okay, good power shield. And wow, that, that yeah, bat within. That actually cost him. Because he got hit by the uh, gyro right after. But he got the jab. So in a sense, he kind of won. And that's bad. That was a poor side B on shield from Truth. Okay, how is he going to make it back on? Oh, that was a really good back here. He's not going to make it back on. That was really good. Uh, Truth definitely have to, has to he has to figure something out. He needs he needs his kill right now. And that's like, back here is like uh, something you don't really see often from Rob. Of how much startup it has. Ooh, that oh, that was that was cute. If it landed, 
Oh, could have been really cute. Up B? Tries to go for it all oh, there. Oh, I think he jumped. If yeah, he, he didn't did. jump, then he would have had it. And now I see Shu trying to probably bait like an approach near the gyro. Jams didn't give in, so oh. Okay. That was a good conversion. That was cute. Yeah, that was cool. That was just like the heel kick into the punch. You gotta jump out of that. Like, That's Rob? your only option. That uh, I think it was. The you, side yeah, B. you always have to jump out of that. Side B you can never try. And, you can never try and air dodge it because if you air dodge, you're dead. But you know, this is Bayonetta. I don't. I don't know how much uh, 1.1.6 affected everything. I actually didn't really study it, so. Could be, like anything can happen here. I'm sure if he gets a, a good wedge time, he could probably bring this percent a lot closer. Oh, oh. that just gonna. He was over 100. It's not gonna stage much, fight, yep. Yeah, that was that was a good play though. I feel like he timed that just perfectly to catch him. Just as uh, the invisibility wore off, eh? That's a good stuff, man. So, uh, 